Hello, my wonderful friends. Meg is here on a beautiful day. Welcome back to the library. I have book recommendations for you today. Three classics that are for everyone. And these three especially mean so much to me. And, and that's something I always hope to pass on to you guys, that they're more than just books, but they're friends that you make memories with and you share with family and friends. And uh, so the three I have for you, I have The Phantom of the Opera, I have Sherlock Holmes, and I have one of my favorites, Winnie the Pooh. And each of these books have a special memory in my heart, and I'd like to share those with you, tell you a little bit about them, try to talk you into getting them, because I know they'll bring you so much joy. And then at the end of this, I just want to give a special shout out to some really special friends. These are the Choose Your Own Adventure books, and I remember I picked these up when I was in junior high school and I still remember the bookshop I got them and I'd never seen anything like that. So I, I, just for those of you that love to just stick around and, and chat with me and hang out, we'll talk about those. Maybe you have memories of those too, but what fun books. So let's start with The Phantom of the Opera. This one, uh, I don't even have words to describe what this means to me. And the reason is because of the special bond that me and my daughter and this story has. When she was just a little girl, I remember the play came to our town and she was so excited. And so she got all dressed up in her prettiest dress and we went to see Phantom of the Opera. And oh, I still remember all of it. We had really good seats. And at the beginning when the chandelier falls and we scream and just, it was so beautiful. And now even to this day, we still talk about it. We have the book and I bought her that little monkey music box. And, and then we have the music. Oh, the music is so beautiful. And then the movie, right? Who knew Gerard Butler could sing like that, the movie is so stirring. And I love any stories where you have the book, you have music, you have the movie, you have something that you share with loved ones. I mean, this will always be something that me and my daughter have together. And it's so precious. Next, uh, Winnie the Pooh. This means so much because it's not just me and my kids, but it's me and my parents and my kids. Because this is the book my mom loved. And, you know, here we live up, we have hundreds of acres, but she always called it the hundred acre woods. We have little statues around the forest uh, of the different characters from Winnie the Pooh. Can I read you just a little bit? Uh, what I love about classics is the writing. It's like the banter that the characters have. So, here we have Winnie the Pooh, and he's stuck in, in Rabbit's Hole, and he ate too much. And, and so listen to their banter back and forth. The fact is, said Rabbit, you're stuck. It all comes, said Pooh crossly, from not having front doors big enough. It all comes, said Rabbit sternly, of eating too much. I thought at the time, said Rabbit, only I didn't like to say anything, said Rabbit, that one of us was eating too much, said Rabbit, and I knew it wasn't me, he said. Well, well, I shall go and fetch Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin lived at the other end of the forest, and when he came back with Rabbit and saw the front half of Pooh, he said, silly old bear, in such a loving voice that everybody felt quite hopeful again. Oh, I just, I love the characters. I love the story. And, you know, we've talked about the special bond between grandchildren and grandmas. But I'll tell you what probably rivals that it is a boy and his teddy bear. And I think this book just captures that so perfectly. Another book, Sherlock Holmes. You know, when I was a kid... I wanted to be a detective and amongst other things, I wanted to be a boat captain and a pirate and all these other things, cowboy, you know, but one of the things I did was I wanted to be a detective and I actually had a desk 
and my parents made me up a shirt that said detective agency. I, do you guys remember McGruff, the, the dog that was like the detective dog? I had that. And anything I could get on detective agencies, I had. And I even remember at my school, in elementary school, one of the teachers hired me to find a missing chair. And I was no good at being a detective. All the chairs looked the same to me. But I thought it was sweet now that I'm older that she tried to, you know, feed my dream. Uh, and no, oh, another thing I just thought about. When I was 16, getting my driver's license, you know how the, someone will take you out and drive with you for so many hours. The person that did that with me was a private eye. And we actually were going on some of his different things. He went out, he's taking pictures and, and we're going to different houses. And then, uh, so I was actually doing detective stuff and I was driving and I felt so uh, awesome. And what's funny, I'll never forget, I ran a stop sign. And I remember just in my mind, I was thinking, he's not a very good detective because he was looking down doing his work. I was thinking, he didn't even know I ran a stop sign. And then without a blink, he just said, next time stop at that stop sign. He knew the route he was taking me on, you know, so just cool as a cucumber. I remember uh, we went back to his house. Oh, do you know what? Today is St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? He was Irish. I remember that because he had family at his house and they were eating all this Irish food and they invited me to stay. And it was just so fun. What a memory that stuck with me. Got to spend the day with a private eye, you know. And, and so, but if you love books where like you're a part of it, right? It's mystery. You're trying to figure it out with him, right? And I love that. I love mysteries. I love trying to figure things out. Who done it? So it's so fun, well written. It's a good time. And so last but not least, I remember, I'm guessing it was junior high and I was in Long Beach, California, and we we're on this harbor, this wharf, and there was a bookstore there. And I remember me and my friends, uh, one thing I'll never forget, we discovered the section that had naked people in it. <laughs> and then we discovered these books and we bought them and, and then we took them back to our hotel room and we all sat around reading them. I never experienced anything like that. If you don't know anything about them, you choose like throughout the book, they'll say, uh, they'll ask you what you want to do and you get to choose. And then they tell you what page to go to. And so there's different endings, different things that happen in the story and, oh, it was just the funnest thing ever. And I mean, what a brilliant idea. Just one more reason I love books. And I had to say that because I was thinking, are, are there any of you that have experienced these? You know, and I haven't read them as an adult. I've just kept them because they meant so much to me. Uh, but I wonder if they'd still be fun to read as an adult. Now, I'll tell you what you know, I never tire of. I'll never outgrow are these Phantom of the Opera, Sherlock Holmes, and Winnie the Pooh. So guys, there's three classics for you. That's for anybody. You'll love them. I know it. And I love, love, love you.